Hell, welcome! This is Simon Player. With me are Rune and Roald. Or if you want to use your internet names, please do so. And this is Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie for the Game Boy. <laughs> in, in 1995, we still have black and white movies that consist of 8 bits. Damn straight. What? Ed Piggy! I'm gonna well, say this right now because it has to be said. This game is very simple, very short, but it has the best 8-bit soundtrack that I know on the Game Boy. Actually, now to think about it, this isn't even 8-bit, because 8-bit means the amount of colors that's on the screen. Well, people just call it 18, 16-bit, you know, music and soundtrack, so... I'm just saying, I've been humming... I, I, I got this game when I was about 5, 6 years old. I traded it in for Turok 1 on the Game Boy, and ever since that day, I've been humming the music, and I'm now 19 years old, so that this music is... Forever. 19 years old playing Turok on your Game Boy. No, Power Rangers. Shut up. Well, Turok definitely looks like a good game. Turok 2, Seeds of Evil on the N64. I hate it. Just because of the freaking, um... What was it? Not the Broodmother. The, uh... The, oh yeah, the Flesh Mother, I think is your name. No, dude. I, 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 I play I played Turok 3, Oblivion, on this N64 so many times in my childhood. It was such a scary game back then. Still is a bit today, but... <laughs> This is, this is like, a running thing that we start off the Let's Play by talking about a different game series and then going back to the game. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh god. Well, so, Power Rangers, I do I did this because pretty much I know that this game is really short. It's a game of my childhood, and... It's, uh, okay. it's not well known. It's not well known, and I just love Power Rangers, you know? That's just, that's just, I, I grew up with the show as a kid, and... Well, very basic game. You have a you have a score for every kind of you know uh, size one beat 'em up. You have your life bar and the power bar. If the power bar goes up by beating the crap out of enemies, you press the select button and you just morph into a Power Ranger. If you that get, fill the power bar again, the select button just does an uh, entire screen you know kind of nuke. It kills everybody. And let me is get that, you. Uh, does each attack down. have an individual button? Like one is kick and one is punch? Uh, no, no, no. Because that was that's what it looks like. No, well, you have... don't forget that this is the uh, Game Boy, there's only really two buttons. Yeah, you have A for jump and B for your attack. The interesting thing, though, is that it that the game itself estimates how far away an enemy of you is, and it will then either decide to kick or punch, depending on how close or how far away the enemy is. So well, that's pretty good. Was... This might fuck you over later. It, it does a bit, especially in... in... In the bird stage, in the mining stage, because there's a uh, sort of a mini boss. Yeah, we'll, see, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. We'll I saw to... a little of this. Okay. Yeah, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But yeah, once again, I have to point out that I, I just, I, while I was playing this, I was humming the soundtrack the entire time. There are some stages that don't have. Yeah, I'm, I'm, just stuck into the music because mm -hmm. I don't care about the enemies. I just like. And they're You're not even doing it! With it. You. <laughs> they're not even doing anything to you! This is an amazing game! I know, right? The, the, the freaking AI is amazing this game. Also, I never saw the movie, so why is the world ruined? Uh, actually, this, town? this game, believe it or not, takes a lot of liberties. <laughs> <laughs> because none of the bosses really in this game are in the are fought in the movie, or are, are, you know, engaged by the powerings in the movie. And most of these sh places are never visited in the movie. And even the final battle doesn't appear in the freaking movie. So, yeah, this game just takes the characters and does with it whatever it wants. Now, Sam, I'm curious. Uh, if you have to have the power bar, like, while you're still a human, kind of, yep. in order, like, the power bar full in order to turn into a Power Ranger, what exactly, um, like, what exactly uh, would you have to do in order to uh, turn back into a human? You, you I don't can't. know. You can't. Then why don't you just start and play the entire thing as a Power Ranger? No, you have to load. You, you have Resets to load your power. every level. Yeah, it re oh yeah, it restarts every level. Like when you die, when you when you choose a level, you have to pick a Power Ranger and you start as an almost human, and then you fill up your power bar and you turn into a Power Ranger. But you is cannot... it mandatory to be a Power Ranger to fight the boss? Um, I actually I think so. Okay, so it's like Altered Beast. I'm not sure, but I actually actually not to mention it. I think. I always go into Power Rangers form whenever I can, but I think that, yeah, uh, I remember my childhood that when you play the game, and I know that happens at the very last boss, uh, that, that for sure, at the very last boss, Ivan Ooze, if you, if you don't have the power bar filled up to turn into Power Ranger, uh, enemies will respawn over and over again until you can turn into Power Ranger. So it is just like Altered Beast. Pretty much. I've never played Altered Beast, but yeah. Altered Beast, a highly praised yet incredibly mediocre game. 
Yeah. You haven't beaten it in 11 minutes. I've seen screenshots and videos of it, it just looks pretty freaking boring. I know it's like a Sega Genesis, oh my god, you need to have that game, but, you know, I grew up with a Sega... This is another game like Kirby, where I feel like I'm spitting into the developer's face, because you can clearly see there's another path more to the right, but I never... And they brought you back to the exact same room, Waffle. Yeah. It looks like it, at least. Did you just say Waffle? Yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> It's a floor. Now, oh. Sam, um, does that water hurt you? you I don't know, it? It, it just slows you down. And these rocket launcher dudes, by the way, will really get, get really annoying in a later stage because you can't avoid their rockets. It like, wouldn't seem that the ooze would damage. I mean, after all, it looked like it's boiling. At least bubbling. Yeah, that's what, I was ju that's what I was more or less just gonna say, but... No, it really doesn't do anything. It just slows you down immensely, and it, it was really bothering me. That's why I tried to jump through it. Oh, but yeah, again, like in like in Kirby, there are some pickups you can get, like there's the power, there's the... Uh, yeah. Um, now, is that the blue ranger or ranger? It's the gray one, Rune. It's the gray one. Yeah, Can't you tell? Ranger. I was actually saving that joke for the credit scene. Thank you, Roald. <laughs> what, what, really, what really bothers me about this game is that besides the white ranger, they all look the same. Every ranger formation, they... Of course it's the white ranger that looks unique. Well, yeah, because Tommy is like the, was like the coolest ranger ever, and everybody loved it. And... Well, not to mention that white is probably one of the easiest uh, things to actually uh, differentiate on, you know, a black and white console. Are you racist? <laughs> <laughs> no! Well, there again, I mean, black and white are... Well, I don't know if there is a black ranger. I know like, you, there is a black it ranger. Is. And he's played by a black ranger. Well, then, no, it's only in the first Actor. half of the season. In, in the movie, in the movie, so in this game as well, he, the Black Ranger is played by an Asian kid. Yeah. Uh, but Asian kid, I shouldn't say that. He's like, what's his name? I forgot his name. In in the, in, in, the, in Power Rangers, called Adam, but I forgot what his... This, that, that's, this is the Black Ranger. But I forgot what the, the Johnny Young Bosch, or whatever his name is. Yeah, that guy. He voiced... Wait, Johnny Young Bosch? Yeah. Does... Really? Yeah, he's Adam. The, the, he's the second Black Ranger ever in the Power Rangers series. Wait, isn't Johnny Young Bosch, um... Uh, well, uh, the only thing that I can think of the top of my head, he's Nero in Devil May Cry 4. Uh, wait, I could be wrong Walk, when I uh, say... Hawk or Waffle. <laughs> Take it, what do you want? <laughs> waffle. What the WTF, man? What the Waffle? But we, oh god, I hate this stage. This 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 stage is a really difficult thing, especially with those conveyor belts, because it, it's one of those old games that when you when you move when you, when you hold down the D pad and try to jump in that direction, you know, like hold down the D pad and then press jump, it will sometimes just not jump and you'll just fall right into your doom. So you need to jump and then press quickly into the direction you want to jump in. I so is this worse than is this worse or slightly better than the original Castlevania when it comes to jumping? Uh, it's really not comparable, it's really different kind of, what? different kind of shitty controls. But wait, undodgeable, you can't dodge this. Um, oh! Well, okay. Uh, but it's, it, I, I, I'd say in terms of jumping, it's better than Castlevania because you can actually turn left and right while you're jumping. I believe. I'm not sure, I need to play, I just played this, I just recorded this two days ago, but I already forgot. It's cool. <laughs> Once again, <laughs> you love this game, game that much. No, because ducking, once again, you can see me ducking, ducking to the music, because this is the theme that I hum the most. This is, I, I hum this theme more than any other in my entire life. I just love this theme so much. There, there was a, there's a second one in this entire game, that there, the, the, the third one in this game, that is really memorable for me, and that's the Ruin stage, which we'll get to later. And this boss scared the hell out of me as a child, okay? Yeah, I can kind of understand that. Power what? Ranger, go! It, it disappeared? Yes, I just and there's it back. So what you have to do is you have to kill those blocks where the AI of kicking and punching, you know, automatically estimating shit will screw you over sometimes because you will sometimes you will just not kick the middle block and you will not kick the upper block and you'll just get stuck here. You'll see that in a second because I'll get really close to the boss. And you'll see me freak out because of this. Look at this. I just I can't get that block up there. It, just, it keeps freaking me out. But I was really afraid of dying here, but it, here it happens. Look at this. Run away from the alien vagina. Oh my god, I have look at this! <laughs> I oh. oh my god. Have random seizure. I was really scared of that point, I swear to god. Oh my I god. think the term is an aneurysm at this point. Yeah. <laughs> uh, does that thing get, like, crushed or something, or...? Well, if you get hit by it, it's an instant death. 
Well, you made I... a lethal machinery that moves as slowly as humanly possible, and it disintegrated. Oh uh, yeah, by the way, there's one thing that you can't do as a human only as a power ranger, get and figure it. If, <laughs> I got hit by that cloud, I'm, uh, by the dust cloud, okay? That's what I got hit by. But if you turn into a power ranger and you double to happen to a direction, you do like an elbow dash and you kill people with it. Like, literally, one hit kill everything with that attack. That's why I don't use it. And this is one of the uh, one of the cases where jumping just wouldn't work for me. That right, was so the, run, the running attack is the attack that is the strongest, so just like Double Dragon. Pretty much. Uh, uh, for Battletoads. And I say sit at this point again, because this is one of the hardest parts in the game, because it's annoying. You have to jump from wagon to wagon, and they will just appear randomly on screen. And most of the time, while you're on these wagons, you, if you go left and right, they will follow you and come with you, like, you know, they're part of your character. But when a second one comes on screen, your character will be able to fall off of it. Like, suddenly the wagon will not follow you, and you will just walk off of it, and go die instantly. You'll see that later, because I will die. <laughs> so, is it possible for you to just walk casually? No. Uh, I watch don't this, watch this, and I'm like, oh, no! So you died because you got crushed, or because they touched the ground? I touched the ground. Someone's seriously taking the, the Floris Lava um, game. To the extreme, definitely. Especially since you're not even you're not even going that fast. And it's a goddamn Power Ranger, you know. If you used yeah. to play that the floor was lava, you truly had a great childhood. Also, yeah, if you did let's just so, say that his also if you did sofa started. surfing while doing that at the same time. <sighs> also, if if you accidentally pop up between those crates, you will die. Like on mean... these things, if you pop up in between them, you will be crushed. Okay, so even if you would, so it prevents you from dying from falling to the ground by crushing you first. <laughs> exactly. Beautiful. From this moment on, I just tried to jump over the crates or over the wagons. God, every time I say wagon, I feel like a like like a like an idiot. Like there needs to be a better way to say this. And then he just does this. Okay, I can't land. And now I can walk. I can't walk off the thing, but I can do a flip jump backwards. That's super. It was apparently explosive the entire time, so... <laughs> it's like Resident Evil Zero, that's the Resident Evil Zero kind of approach of, tr of stopping the train. You know, you put the... I just realized, while we were... What? what? While we were on the cart, the entire time there was like nothing attacking you, like of enemies. You were like just standing, what the fuck is that guy doing? But I, I almost died at this guy until I realized his pattern, until I realized what to do. Cause I remember this guy being a pain in the butt when I was a kid, and he still is to this day. What you, you, what you just have to do is you have to stand uh, on the opposite side. Really? Wait, wait for him to come down. Wait for him to come back up, and just kick him in the face when he flies away. That's pretty much all you need to do, and you will never be touched by him. That is kind of pathetic, really. Well, it's, once again, it's a like, very simple game. It's a very simple and short game. It's not that hard. It plus can be excused by the fact that it's a super old game. Very, very old game. It's Power Ranger. You're supposed to feel my powers. It's right in the freaking title. No, I want to be a ranger. Like with the finger. I guess. Yeah. The morphing belt with any, like, with it, any loser off the street can turn into a Power Ranger. <laughs> some some teenagers with attitude. What the hell? Oh, the fuck. Oh, the fuck. Password. Or waffle. Sixteen forty. There's one get. There's one little game that I loved to be playing in this inside of. Oh, that was the password. I thought it was some kind of scoring system. I didn't realize what password until now. Uh, this is this a lovely little mini game that I play every time I start this game. Where it's the same I do with Castlevania Legends, where I go into the password mode and I just randomly mash my D-pad up and down, press A, and no matter what you what you typed in, you'll always get put into a level. <laughs> The password system is so randomized that you'll always get somewhere if you type in a random password. <laughs> like, yeah, you just like every number combination yeah. made it to, to be a password, with the exception of the default. <laughs> but by the way, this is the ruins, the third level that has great graph. <laughs> See, well, I was I was gonna I was gonna dance again, but then he threw a fucking arrow. And no, no. Actually, it's a Dumb. knife. It's a knife. No. I had to. I'm sorry. I had to. By the way, I do not support this meme, that meme is really stupid and should die in a fire. I just... Oh yeah, that actually would be the greatest idea for a game ever. Make the de whenever you have a password system in the game, make it that the default actually leads you to the end game credits. 
<laughs> like after beating the final boss, and <laughs> uh, just have it in the and just then having in have them have it at the end. Was this what he wanted? <laughs> to skip the entire game? This this game has the same vertical scrolling issues that Order. What was it? Order of the Rose. I, I don't remember the one Castlevania game had. Where if, uh, Order of Ecclesia. I no, 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 no. The one for the the, the first one from the Game Boy Advance. The one that you tried to let's play one point. Oh, that was um Aria of Sor. No, yeah, Aria of Sor. That's not it. No, no, the Rick first the one moon? for the Game Boy. Yeah, the first one. The one where the one player Wade Grant or Joint or whatever his name is. I have. Oh wait, oh wait, Grant. I have no idea what his name is. I just know what? you. I, I just know you played this guy, and every time you jumped in that game, the camera followed you up and down instead of staying steady on the ground where it's supposed to be. It's the it's the game where you have the guy with the whip. No. It is. Then that's the second one. There's two Game Boy Advance games that have a guy with whip. Junes, which is uh, which is this and no, but Tessaro. I mean that the whip guy is the main character. Oh, rage. Castlevania, uh, my Circle, Power Rangers, I know what's that going Circle on? Of the moon. <laughs> oh, Circle of the Moon, that's what you're talking Circle thinking. of the Moon, thank you. Circle of the Moon. Circle of the Moon, uh, Harmony of, of Dissonance or something like that, yeah. Well, Harmony you of Dissonance. Order, you turned Circle of the Moon into Order of the Rose. What? <laughs> I'm just dumb, stop it. <laughs> Do you think we talked enough about Castlevania now? <laughs> Castlevania. In Power Rangers. Oh, By the way, just the ruins. Where do you think we are? Like a fucking Grand Canyon? No, actually, I think those are the ruins on the second planet that the Power Rangers go to to reacquire their powers. Not that this game will ever tell you that, but I watched the movie. I like to have continuity, so I'm just gonna uh, assume that. You will have the power of the frog. What was the power of the frog again? To get kissed or something? Yeah, some shit like that. He get... Yeah, you have the power of the frog. He, he gets kissed. And he turns into a prince, and it's Johnny Young Bosch, cute as hell back then. Like, oh, Kawhi, this is. Uh, Johnny Young Bosch. I'm thinking of um, ah, oh, God, um, Edward Elric from Full Metal Alchemist. I don't know. If, I don't know if that is his voice actor. I could be wrong. No, um, I, I, I don't even, know. I, think, I don't know. I know he's something in the anime. I think I maybe I'm. I could be completely wrong, but I think he. You was, were stuck in the boss for a moment. I think he's. With a flaming rod, you're out of me. Oh uh, god. But actually, I looked up, did this game's music actually impress me so much I looked up the, 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 the composer? And he actually made a lot of remixes in Brawl. 